Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sampurna Ghosh, EAT Consultant in Medicover, Hyderabad. I am going to discuss my experience about the ENT related problems which is coming in the third wave. The very reason I have time to make this video during third wave because somehow the good news is the Omicron variety is not causing any severe illness. The hospitalization death is much much less. If you take the vaccinated people, it is only 3 to 4 percent people affected who really needed hospitalization. Compared to 22 to 25 percent patients who are not vaccinated, required hospitalization this time. So we are not overloaded. That is number one. Number two, the symptoms and the morbidity is quite low, easily treatable and people are recovering within five to seven days. So the first question is what are the acute uh, COVID related ENT symptoms? What I have found every single day I am getting somebody uh, with severe, severe sore throat and most of them when I ask them for COVID RT-PCR, next day I get to know that they are positive. What are the um, chronic or I would say sequelae of uh, COVID which manifest in the ENT diseases? So. Uh, that has quite a lot of varieties actually. A lot of people, the fever, body pain or headache was very mild. They recovered very surprisingly, very fast. But after seven days, they developed acute sinusitis. And they're not able to breathe well. Their nose is full, stuffy or severe cough, sneezing, running nose. These are the common symptoms. But luckily, because of less uses of steroid, because the virulence of this strain is also quite low. This time I have not seen uh, any of the black fungus or mycomycosis cases. Most of these patients have only allergic reaction or bacterial sinusitis, which can be easily treated by common antibiotics and they are recovering in 10 12 days. There is another issue which is coming very frequently and more in the young age group. Many people are coming that after COVID, they're getting some kind of noisy sound in their ears. So in medical term, this symptom is called tinnitus. Some of them, when I'm sending them for hearing test, they have some kind of uh, mild high frequency sensory neural hearing loss. If they come early to the ENT clinic, we can treat with medicine and this is reversible. The other issue uh, is post-COVID cough. So uh, even though you test, your blood reports are normal, your x-ray chest or CT is normal, but the cough is really bothering a lot of people. Uh, the take-home message is it's not dangerous. These are all common symptoms, throat irritation, cough, nasal condition. Just hang on, give some time, visit your ENT or pulmonologist and these symptoms will go. Now till death, if you are not vaccinated or if you have taken only one dose, please take the second dose and complete the vaccination schedule so that you don't land up in ICU or you don't come for admission. Now coming to the second question related to ENT is um, how do you differentiate like is it just a tonsillitis or is it a, a COVID or Omicron related sore throat? Uh, that calls for some clinical experience and judgment on the doctor's side. Like um, when there is a tonsillitis, the tonsil looks different. Like the strep throat, usually there will be white patchy areas on the tonsil. There will be some tender lymph node in the neck. But these people who are coming with the same severe, severe throat pain, not even able to take liquid food, it's so bad. But the tonsil doesn't look that bad. The tonsil or the pharynx is not that red. It doesn't look that angry as compared to what we see in the other tonsillitis variety. So they, there are some subtle features which the doctor or the ENT who sees the throat regularly can differentiate very well, whether it is our common age old tonsillitis or whether it is Omicron related sore throat. Now, obviously the practical question is, what does it matter? Do you treat it differently? Not really. The treatment is not anything strikingly different. Mostly like some antibiotic, uh, analgesic, soft food, antiseptic carbol, then why do you need to differentiate? The need is to protect the other family members. 
the moment you know that okay you have covid and your sore throat is not acute tonsillitis you will isolate yourself that's it you will isolate from the children from your elderly people at home or from your partner so that the whole family doesn't get affected by this and after 7 days you are fine so that's why we need to know for documentation for yourself that you got naturally infected or not and for the safety of your colleagues friends and the family members